Hello there, Gary here. So I've been using the S21 Ultra for around about nine months now. And in a world of Z Folds and Z Flips, is the S21 Ultra still a good buy? Well, in my opinion, yes. And here's why. So for me, the S21 lineup are the best looking phones on the market right now. The camera module seamlessly joining the side of the phone looks great. The frosted matte black glass on my phone has stood the test of time. And the phone just feels great in the hand. It feels easy to hold, it doesn't feel slippery, and it's just a real joy to hold. Now, the 6.8 Infinity O display is also brilliant and probably the best display again on the market right now. And the phone's protected with Gorilla Glass Invictus, which you know is the strongest glass you can get. This hasn't stopped me getting little scratches and nicks on the phone from just going in and out of my pocket. So it's probably great for if you drop it, it'll probably help it survive a little bit better. But for just picking up little scratches and marks, I've found that I've had plenty of those during the time that I've had the phone. So for me, there's no question about it. I really like the S21 Ultra's design. I think it's sleek. It looks great, it feels really good in your hand, and I really do think Samsung absolutely nailed it with the S21 Ultra. Probably the only thing about the design that I would change, if it was totally possible, was to have a little slot in there for the S Pen, but we'll talk about that later. So when the S21 Ultra was announced, Probably the biggest selling point that Samsung pushed was the camera and the big numbers that come with the camera. 108 megapixel sensor, availability to shoot up to 8K with 100 times zoom. Now I have to say that taking pictures with the 108 megapixel sensor has been actually really good and you can actually really tell the difference. Unfortunately they still haven't solved the shutter lag that has persisted to take place during the whole time of having this phone, which has been a bit disappointing. So if you're taking pictures of kids or your pets or just generally things that move fast then you might struggle to use this purely because you get that one second delay and you might miss the best photo that you can take. In terms of 8k I haven't really used it apart from the first week of just trying it out. I mean I haven't got an 8k TV or monitor so for me I can't really properly see the results of 8K footage on a really good display. So for me, it's been a little bit pointless and I'm guessing a lot of people it'll be the same as well. So for me, the resolution's always stayed at 4K at 60 on my videos. For me, the Samsung camera is the most versatile and there's so many different features, especially compared to the Pixel or the iPhone. The phone has up to 100 times zoom, which is actually quite good up to about 30 times and after that becomes a bit of a mess but it can be quite good just to zoom in a hundred times, particularly when you're taking pictures of the moon or the stars at night. That can be quite, quite nice to do. Now, of course, the phone has an ultra-wide sensor, which has actually been improved compared to the Note 20 Ultra from last year and the S20 Ultra line as well. And there's actually, you get actually some really good results. But a lot of my favorite features on the Samsung phone aren't actually exclusive to the S21 Ultra. For example, I've really enjoyed using single take which simultaneously takes a number of videos and photos and puts them all together after a certain amount of time to create GIFs and best videos and sort of filtered effects on photos and it just generally chooses the best photos from that time. And I've actually got some really good pictures of like family just through using this, things that I would, would have missed without if I hadn't used this mode. Now I've actually been pleasantly surprised as well with how the camera's improved over time with various software updates. So for example, portrait mode, I found the edge detection has improved significantly over the eight months that I've had the phone. Night mode has improved over time and you know, it is definitely usable, but I do find that Samsung's night mode is, looks a little bit fake. 40 megapixel selfie camera has been very good, although having a wider view would have been nicer to get group shots in, but when you compare it to the selfie camera on that's on the Z Fold 3 for example, the S21 Ultra beats it hands down. So if you like taking selfies, then definitely the S21 Ultra is the way to go. So now onto video. I have to say the S21 Ultra has been really good. Probably not iPhone really good. Probably the best video quality you get on an Android phone. Now a big thing obviously with the new iPhones is cinematic mode. Now Samsung have had portrait video for quite a while now 
and whilst it's not perfect and I have to say you know again it's improved over time with software updates and it is usable and in certain circumstances it doesn't look too fake although some of the effects really do look ridiculous although you, you can have some fun there's some sort of different modes like glitch mode and black and white mode which are good and fun to play with again though it's probably one of those features that after the first week how many people actually really go back to use them probably not many so it probably goes into the gimmick category so if you'd like to vlog one mode is director's view which allows you to use the different focal lengths on the back of the camera and also lets you record from the front selfie camera at the same time and this is the audio from the microphones on the phone so I don't know what this is going to sound like but if you do like to vlog then this could be a really useful feature so overall I would say that the S21 Ultra's camera system is excellent I think it's more versatile than the iPhone and the Pixel, for example. I really enjoy all the different modes, as I said, like single take. And I, I, and I still think it's obviously the best camera on a Samsung and possibly the best camera on an Android phone at the moment. <laughs> My battery experience with the phone has been good. Not brilliant, but good. Despite having a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, I've been slightly disappointed with the battery performance. Although I do find that I get all the way through one day without having to put it on charge. I usually finish the day at around 11 p.m. with about 15% battery, and that's with around five and a half to six hours screen on time. So it is good, it's really good. Um, but I was hoping for sort of like a, a day and a half, two day battery life, but unfortunately that hasn't been my experience. And another disappointment in terms of battery is the fact that one, there's no charging brick in the box, which again is disappointing. But still one of my favorite features with the battery is the ability to do wireless sharing. So with the S21 Ultra, you get obviously a great display you get an underscreen fingerprint sensor, which is actually really good this year and really fast and responsive. It has USB-C. Wireless DeX is fantastic and a real underrated feature. And of course, this year, you have the ability on the S21 to use the S Pen. Obviously, there's no Note series phone this year, so the S21 Ultra really is the Note for 2021. And it's great to have. It's just unfortunate that there's obviously nowhere to place the S Pen. So you have to buy a case which is sort of clunky and not that great, or you have to put it in your pocket or your bag and you're bound to lose it. Overall, I've really enjoyed using the phone for these last nine months. Don't get me wrong, the Z Fold 3 for me is you know my ultimate phone and I absolutely love it. But the thing that keeps bringing me back to the S21 Ultra is always the camera. And for that reason, I think a lot of people would prefer the S21 Ultra over the folding phones or the flip phones. Now, don't get me wrong, I think most people would happily get along with an S21, for example, that you don't need to go ultra, and you can probably save yourself quite a lot of money in the process. Having said that, if you shop around right now, I'm, I would guarantee you you'd find some really good deals, either on Samsung's website or with your service providers or even on the second hand market, you're bound to get a really good deal on a nine month old S21 Ultra. So going back to my original question, is it still worth it? Absolutely it is. It's the best phone you can get at the moment in terms of an Android experience. Um, and for me, it's still a great buy. So let me know in the comments below, do you still use the S21 Ultra? Do you enjoy it? or are you tempted to get a fold or a flip or even to go over to an iPhone? Let me know. If you've got any questions as well about the phone, put, put them down in the comments below as well and I'll answer every one. Now there's links to all the gear I've used to make this video and all the gear that's been featured in the video down in the description below. So feel free to check those out. And until next time, see you later. Cheers.